evidence of a murder. You find suffering and fear and abuse and mental illness and terrible isolation and loneliness. <clears throat> and you find innocent kids who were hurt by it all. Not out of meanness, not with any intent to cause harm to anyone, not with any meaningful comprehension of the harms that were being caused. And it is a tragedy for everybody involved, but it's not a murder. To conclude, given the most recent testimony, one might believe that this is a case about experts. I'd suggest that it is not. As I said at the beginning of the case, it's a case about children. Children and even a dog and a cat who all suffered needlessly at the hand of Erica Murray. A senseless, tragic story about a dysfunctional parent and her feeding Yamelin. Regardless of how disturbing the facts surrounding this case are to the community at large and to me as a parent, I cannot take into account those feelings. As Justice Zobel so stated in the Woodward case, as a judge, I am duty bound to ignore it. I must look only at the evidence and the defendant. Therefore, I find the Commonwealth has failed to sustain its burden in proving beyond a reasonable doubt that Ms. Murray caused the death of baby Rivera number one, and therefore I find her not guilty of the murder charge. Commonwealth. Commonwealth for sentencing, Your Honor, with the caveat that we could have a brief recess to confer with the district. All right. So we will take a recess for the next few minutes.